in order to install docker on any windows system there are a couple of very important things we should check first first is the operating system that we are using so on google you can just type for install docker on windows and go to this docker website here if you scroll down under system requirements if you see wsl2 backend x8664 what is the system requirement i'm going to install wsl2 based docker over here not hyper v backend if you notice over here for Windows 11 64 bit, the requirement is home or professional version 21H2 or higher, or enterprise or education version 21H2 or higher. So it is 21H2. For Windows 64 bit, the recommended is home or pro 22H2 or higher, or enterprise or education 22H2. Minimum required is home or pro 21H2. Now, what is my operating system? Let me show you that. I'm going to run Windows version WinVa. It is Windows 10 and if you see this is 22H2 OS build 19045. If I see over here, let me move it a little bit, build 19045. So first thing we need to check if it is Windows 10 or Windows 11, the appropriate versions we have or not. Otherwise, if you try to set up Docker desktop, you will fail multiple times and won't know what is the root cause behind your failure and it would be wastage of time and effort. First thing we need to check this before before proceeding with docker installation on windows system let me close all this second thing we need to go to this task manager and click on more details and go to this performance tab under cpu here we should be seeing something which is virtualization colon enabled or colon disabled unless it is there we won't be able to proceed with the docker installation now in my system right now virtualization is not enabled but it has the capability to do so i'll proceed with that so let's get started as a first step open powershell run as administrator we can run this following command to install WSL2 and the default distribution of Linux along with it. Generally, it is Ubuntu WSL double hyphen install. This process is going to take a while. When it's done, I'll resume the recording. We can see the message at the bottom. Ubuntu has been installed. The requested operation is successful. Changes will not be effective until the system is rebooted. Hence, we are going to reboot the system. Once it is up and running, I'll resume the recording. Now, once the system boots up, we can see different command prompts were there and in this command prompt, it is telling Ubuntu is already installed. It is launching Ubuntu and this will take few minutes. As this would take some time, I'm pausing the recording. Once it is done, I'll resume it. In the meantime, I can go to task manager, click on more details, performance. Under CPU, I can see virtualization is enabled. Unless virtualization is enabled, we cannot succeed in Docker installation. Let me close this. We need to create a default Unix user account. I'm entering a Unix username. It does not need to be same with the Windows username, but I'm keeping it same just to remember this. Press enter. Entering the password now. Press enter. Retyping the password. Pressing enter. Installation successful. Now we are set for actual Docker installation. Let me open the browser. Searching for Docker installation on Windows, clicking on this link docs.docker.com desktop install Windows install, the first link that generally appears. Clicking on this link, Docker desktop for Windows x86-64. The download has started, download completed, going to the folder, right click, run as administrator. It's initializing. In configuration, it is showing use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V. That's what we are going to do. And add shortcut to desktop, keeping both the options as is. Click on OK. It's unpacking the files. Once this is complete, I'll resume the recording. Docker is asking to log out of Windows to complete the installation. Instead, what I'll do, I'll close this and restart the system. Once our Windows system is up, we'll proceed further. Now we have restarted our system. After restart, we can see this Docker desktop icon on the desktop. And after installation, this Docker subscription service agreement would appear. Click on accept. You can provide this information for the time being. I'm skipping all of them. It's starting the Docker engine. Now, Docker is up and running. These are the different tabs we have. Images, volumes, all of them would be empty as we have not done anything. I'm going to open PowerShell once again, run as administrator, 
just checking whether the Docker command is running. It's showing me the Docker version. I'm just going to run a test container to check the Docker functionality. So this is the command Docker run hello world. Now we can see it is pulling the image and the download is complete. If I go back to Docker under images, I can see this particular image. If we go to container, we should be seeing a particular container object over here. So to summarize, we have installed the Docker desktop on the Windows system and we just downloaded one sample image just to see whether the basic functionality is working or not.